Most of the parts in this build can be found at multirotormania.com. I want to start off by giving you guys a rundown of all the parts I use for this build. To start, I went with the HQ4045 bullnose props. Sorry, not the 5045s. Some 10mm nylon standoffs, uh, male to female, as well as some 30mm nylon standoffs. This will be for the middle um, top plate of the frame to protect the flight controller. Some 20mm nylon standoffs to protect the flight cam. Uh, get a bunch of 6mm nylon screws as well as some 10 millimeter nylon screws and then you're going to want to get a bunch of M3 nylon hex lock nuts. I also got some orange braided mesh which I haven't put on the quad yet but I'm planning to. All of these parts I got from multirotormania.com um, they're based up in Sacramento, California. For the powertrain I'm using the DYS SN20 amp BL Heli flashed ESC's for the motors, I'm using the T motor 1806 2300kV. For batteries, I'm going to be using a combination of Nanotech 850 milliamp to 1000 milliamp 45 to 90C 3S. Uh, my frame also can can handle all the way up to 1800 milliamp hour batteries, which I tested already. For the power board, I'm using the Multi Rotor Mania power distribution board. And for the frame, I'm using the Armitan 180 one piece frame. Got the Nays 32 flight controller and some ready made RC addressable LED strips on the rear. For my radio receiver, I'm using the FreeSky X4R. I would recommend getting the D4R2 if you can find it in stock somewhere because I had to use a S bus to CPPM converter for that. For the camera, I'm using the Amway CMOS 600 FPV cam. And I have the Palulu 5 volt step down, which is going to power my nays. For the Video TX, I'm using the Hawkeye 200 milliwatt Video TX, which has performed very well in my tests so far.